Voltmeter is a pretty useful device to measure the precise voltage. But in cases where we need only the voltage range and not the precise value, these can be pretty costly. Today we are going to see how we can make a simple voltage indicator or a voltmeter using LEDs and Zener diodes. A Zener diode is similar to a normal diode. That is, a normal diode functions as a short circuit in forward bias condition and open circuit in reverse bias condition. Sim similarly, a Zener diode also functions as a short circuit in forward bias condition. In reverse bias condition, after the voltage across the Zener diode crosses the breakdown voltage, then the Zener diode starts conducting in reverse bias condition. Consider a Zener diode rated at 3.3 volts. That means when the reverse bias voltage across the Zener diode is less than 3.3 volts, it acts as an open circuit. And when the voltage is greater than 3.3 volts, the Zener diode acts as a resistor and starts conducting in the reverse bias condition. We take a 3.3 volt Zener diode and connect a red LED to it. When the voltage across the Zener diode crosses 3.3 volts, it starts conducting current to the red LED. But there is also a forward bias voltage for the red LED which should be reached for it to switch off. For red LED it would be around 1.7 volts. Now the total on voltage for this setup is 3.3 volts plus 1.7 volts that will be around 5 volts not 3.3 volts. We can connect a resistor in series with LED to limit the current going to the LED and protect the LED from burning out. This LED lights up when the voltage across the module crosses 5 volts. We can make several such modules to indicate different voltage ratings using different Zener ratings. I'll be considering 8 Zener diodes of ratings from 1.2, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, so on till 27 volts. The series resistor value will be around 10 kilo ohms. And the volt indica voltage indicator will indicate voltages of about 3 volts to 20, 30 volts. This is a Zener diode which looks similar to the signaling diode 1 and 4148. But you can differentiate between them using the numbers on the diode. On the Zener diode, for voltage such as 1.2 volts and 3.3 volts, the voltage is given as 1V2 and 3V2. The cathode of the Zener diode can be identified using the black line marked on the Zener diode. Different color LEDs will have different forward voltage drops. That is, red LED will have around 1.7 volts. Blue and white LEDs will have around 3 volts or less than 3 volts. Green and yellow LEDs will have close to 2 volts. That is, uh, around 1.8 or 1.9 volts. I have connected a 8.2 volt Zener diode with a red LED and a 12 kilo resistor. The LED should light up once the voltage crosses 8.2 volts plus 1.7 volts. That will be around 9.9 I have connected 8 such modules with different Zener values and I have also replaced the 5mm red LED with a 3mm LED. Now let's check if the design works or not. As you can see, when I vary the knob, different LEDs light up indicating the voltage changes. I have also added an extra 330 ohm resistor to limit the current going to the design. This can be soldered on a PCB and kept in an enclosure or covered with a paper tape just to protect the circuit board. This voltage indicator can be used as a separate module to measure the voltages or can be embedded to variable power supplies. The various voltage ranges can be calibrated using a multimeter and marked on the voltage indicator like this. Hope you have enjoyed my videos. For my future videos please subscribe and see you in my next video.